Good day everybody, welcome back to part 3, if you haven't seen the rest of the videos, please have a look at part 1 and part 2 of my ride around the peninsula. Part 2 ended in Scarborough and this is where I'm starting off again. The Cape Peninsula in South Africa is a treasure trove of natural beauty wildlife, history and cultural experiences. Many visitors like to visit Cape Point. Cape Point offers breathtaking views of the Atlantic Ocean and False Bay. The sheer cliffs and rugged landscapes make it a must visit. On your way you can also visit a penguin colony at Boulders Beach next to Simon's Town. Home to a colony of African penguins, Boulders Beach offers visitors a unique opportunity to see these charming creatures up close. It's a protected area, so the beach is part of Table Mountain Where's National Park, Marine Protected Area, ensuring the penguins and other marine life are safeguarded. In this video I'm also riding through Houtbai, where you can do boat trips to Seal Island, home to a large colony of Cape Fur Seals. Houtbai is also known for its vibrant weekend markets, offering local crafts, food and live music. I am also going to ride through Chapman's Peak Drive. It is often cited as one of the most beautiful drives in the world. Chapman's Peak Drive offers stunning coastal views and numerous lookout points. The best time to visit the Western Cape and the peninsula is in spring, from September to November or in autumn, from March to May. And this is the best time to visit for milder weather and fewer crowds. Visitors should stick to designated paths and follow local advice, especially regarding wildlife and weather conditions. Respect the natural environment by following leave no trace principles and supporting local conservation efforts. It's called the Mystic Cliffs. They are very popular little village for uh, people to come and uh, retire, enjoy the tranquility of the ocean, having a very beautiful day and a typical little bit of mist. Here I am riding through misty cliffs. It is named for the mist that often rolls in from the sea, giving the cliffs a mystical appearance. This place is a haven for nature lovers and those seeking tranquility. The natural beauty of misty cliffs is truly mesmerizing. The rugged cliffs, pristine beach and crystal clear waters create a stunning landscape that's perfect for photography, beach combing or simply relaxing and taking in the views. We are just after Misty Cliffs to get to Chapman's Peak. I have to ride through Komiki, which means a little basin in Afrikaans. It's a quaint little village here on the Cape Peninsula and it's known for its natural beauty and rich marine life and its laid back atmosphere. Komiki is a surfer's paradise with some of the best waves on the Cape Peninsula. Long Beach is the go to spot for surfers of all levels. The village has a few charming cafes, restaurants and local shops where you can enjoy a cup of coffee, a delicious meal or find unique handmade goods. Just between Komiki and Houtbai, you get to one of the most scenic routes in the world, Chapman's Peak Drive. It is also affectionately known as Chappies. It's a must visit destination in the Western Cape. This 9 km route between Houtbai and Noordhoek offers some of the most breathtaking coastal views you'll ever see. Chapman's Peak Drive was constructed between 1915 and 1922. Originally designed to provide a scenic route and improve access between Cape Town and the southern suburbs. The road is named after John Chapman, the pilot of an English ship who was sent ashore to find provisions in 1607. The drive is an engineering marvel, 
carved into the sheer cliffs and has been a popular tourist attraction ever since. The construction of Chapman's Peak Drive was no easy feat. Engineers had to overcome significant challenges including the unstable granite cliffs and the need for regular maintenance due to rockfalls. Today extensive measures have been put in place to ensure the road safety, including rockfall shelters, catch nets and regular inspections. These efforts ensure that Chappies remains both a safe and spectacular drive. The scenic views along Chapman's Peak Drive are simply unparalleled. There are numerous lookout points where you can stop, take in the breathtaking scenery and snap some amazing photos. On a clear day you can see all the way to Sentinel in Hogby and across the long stretch of Noortuk Beach. It's a photographer's paradise. The drive is also a favorite spot for outdoor enthusiasts. The road and its surrounding areas offer fantastic opportunities for hiking, cycling and running. The Chapman's Peak hiking trail provides stunning views from the summit and the road itself is often used for major sporting events like the Cape Town Cycle Tour and the Two Oceans Marathon. If you are planning to visit Chapman's Peak Drive, here are a few tips to make the most of your trip. Check the weather. The best time to drive is on a clear day to enjoy the views fully. Drive slowly. Take your time to appreciate the scenery and stop at the lookout points. Fees. There is a toll fee for vehicles, so make sure you have some cash or a card ready. Safety first. Always keep an eye on the road and follow any instructions or signs, especially regarding rockfalls. Timing. Early mornings or late afternoons are ideal for avoiding traffic and getting the best light for photography. At the other end of Chapman's Peak Drive, we find the charming coastal town of Houtbai. Houtbai, affectionately known as the Republic of Houtbai by locals, is a picturesque harbour town nestled in a valley on the Atlantic seaboard of the Cape Peninsula. With its rich history, thriving community and natural beauty, Houtbai has something for everyone. Founded in the late 1600s, Houtbai has a rich history rooted in fishing and farming. The name Houtbay translates to Wood Bay, a reference to the dense forests that once covered the area. These forests provided timber for the Dutch East India Company. Today Houtbay is a vibrant community known for its fishing industry and as a popular tourist destination. Houtbay Harbour is the heart of the town, bustling with activity. It's one of the busiest fishing harbors in the Western Cape and a great place to experience local culture. You can visit the fish market to buy fresh seafood, take a boat trip to Seal Island or simply enjoy the vibrant atmosphere and beautiful views. Houtbay is an outdoor enthusiast paradise. From hiking up the famous Chapman's Peak to kayaking in the bay, there's no shortage of activities. You can also take a boat tour to Seal Island where you'll get to see thousands of Cape fur seals in their natural habitat. For the more adventurous, snorkeling with seals is an unforgettable experience. One of the best ways to experience Houtbai's local culture is by visiting the Houtbai market. Held every weekend, the market features local crafts, delicious food and live music. It's a great place to sample some local cuisine buy unique souvenirs and enjoy the lively atmosphere. Houtbay is also close to some of the most beautiful beaches in the Western Cape. Sandy Bay is known for its secluded and pristine setting, perfect for a peaceful day out. Landatno Beach, just around the corner, is pop popular for its white sandy shores and excellent surfing conditions. Both beaches offer stunning natural beauty and a great escape from the hustle and bustle. The community in Houtbay is diverse and welcoming with a laid-back lifestyle that's perfect for those looking to unwind. The locals are friendly and always ready to share their love for this beautiful place. Twelve Apostles! There's rocks sticking out here. The Twelve Apostles is a series of rugged and majestic peaks that extend south from Table Mountain towards Houtbay. Despite the name, there are actually more than 12 peaks, each offering its own unique beauty and character. 
The 12 apostles are part of the Table Mountain range, formed over 300 million years ago. These dramatic cliffs and rocky outcrops are made of sandstone and granite, creating a striking contrast against the blue waters of the Atlantic Ocean. The unique geological formations and erosion patterns have created some of the most breathtaking scenery in the world. Where are we getting now to come by? Uh, one of the more popular beaches of Cape Town. Some very expensive properties here in Camps Bay. Camps Bay is famous for its white sandy beach, clear blue waters and the dramatic backdrop of the Twelve Apostles. It's a favorite spot for both locals and tourists offering a mix of natural beauty, outdoor activities and a vibrant social scene. Camps Bay Beach is the heart of the suburb. It's perfect for sunbathing, swimming and beach sports. The water can be a bit chilly but it's incredibly refreshing on a hot summer day. The promenade is lined with palm trees and offers a great selection of cafes, restaurants and bars, making it a fantastic place to relax and enjoy the atmosphere. Beach volleyball is popular here and there are often friendly games happening on the sand. When it comes to dining, Camps Bay offers a diverse range of options, from upscale restaurants to casual cafes. There's something for every taste and budget. Seafood is a highlight here, with many places serving fresh catches of the day. As the sun sets, the nightlife comes alive with trendy bars and clubs offering great music and cocktails the perfect way to end your day in Camps Bay. While Camps Bay is generally safe, always keep an eye on your belongings and be cautious in the water as the currents can be strong. The best time to visit is during the summer months from December to February when the weather is warm and the beach is buzzing with activity. There are plenty of accommodation options ranging from luxury hotels to more affordable guest houses, so you can find something that suits your budget. Camps Bay is also perfectly situated for exploring other attractions in Cape Town. Just a short drive away you'll find the cable car to Table Mountain, the hiking trails to of Lion's Head and the beautiful Clifton beaches. Each of these spots offers its own unique experience and adds to the charm of visiting this area. Over here where I'm turning left, you can also turn to the right to go to Table Mountain to go to the cable car. I'm going to the left to go to Signal Hill. This is also where you can go to do a hike up Lion's Head. Lion's Head is a must visit for anyone coming to Cape Town. Standing at 669 meters above sea level, this distinct peak offers some of the best views in the city. Its name comes from the shape of the peak which resembles a lion or a sphinx when viewed from certain angles. This is Historically, it was known as Leeuwenkop by the Dutch settlers. The area has a rich history and was used for signal communications during the colonial period. The high cup lion's head is one of the most popular activities in Cape Town. It's a relatively moderate hike that takes about one half to two hours to reach the summit. The trail winds around the mountain, offering 360 degree views of the city, Table Mountain and the Atlantic Ocean. For those with a sense of adventure, there are some sections with chains and ladders to help you climb up the rock faces. Lion's Head is famous for its sunrise and full moon hikes. Watching the sunrise from the summit is a magical experience, with the city slowly waking up below the sky painted in the beautiful colors. The full moon hike is equally spectacular, as you can watch the moon rise over the mountains and see the city lights twinkling below. Just remember to bring a headlamp for the hike down.
here we are on the Signal Hill, the west side of Signal Hill. On this side you have uh, down there uh, still Camps Bay and uh, Clifton Bay. Here on uh, Signal Hill people come and do paragliding all the way down. And then you can find them down there in uh, Sea Point. So there across the bay you can see is uh, Robben Island. It's a famous island where Nelson and Mandela spent uh, all of his life in prison. There's a Greenpoint Stadium down there. DHL Rugby Stormers uh, Home Practice Field And uh, over here is the DNA Waterfront This is the harbour of Cape Town Beautiful view of the City Bowl up there, Table Mountain, with the cable car going up. Beautiful views today of the city and all of Cape Town. And of course here in front of us is the Lion's Head. That's the end of my three-part series of a ride around the peninsula route. I hope you enjoyed watching all of the videos. If you did, I can ask you to please like these videos and subscribe to my channel. Keep an eye out for the next videos where we drive from Cape Town to Cape Algalas, coming soon. Thank you for watching, see you next time.